Right, this is the situation at the end of uh, February 1806. The big news here is um, Austria is actually being conquered by France. Um, so it's, it's actually conquered once and they've uh, imposed the Treaty of Pressburg on Austria. That means that uh, Venice becomes part of uh, Northern Italy, which I've marked with a Italian garrison there and Bavaria takes control of Innsbruck. Uh, French have already carved out Dalmatia from the uh, Austrian Empire and they've uh, decided to seize um, Prague as a supply city for further operations into uh, Prussia. The uh, Russians still at war with the Ottomans. That's keeping over half their army, what's left of it, um, out of the game. Now, they've had another terrible sort of um, attrition roll again. Uh, so they've decided to start retreating, but they will almost certainly remain in, inside um Austrian Poland just to pin down French units here. Now because Austria's been conquered, all its units um, were fe effectively all destroyed apart from the uh, there were some prisoners which the French had. So all the prisoners are automatically brought back. And uh, you've got the Austrian force pool which you can start rolling for as a neutral because if you have a look at it Austria is now in the neutral track okay but because of the uh, Treaty of Pressburg um, France and Austria can't go to war for at least a year um, Russia and Austria can't become eligible for bringing into a, <laughs> into the coalition again until its entire force pool is rebuilt which is going to take some time. Um, situation is probably almost certainly now uh, because starting either three turns from when Austria was defeated or at May 1806, you start rolling for Prussia to end its neutrality and join the coalition. But up until that point, you can't force Prussia to enter, enter the coalition when you couldn't force it to join the pro-French side either. Um, the Prussian army is, is, is pretty bad. It's, it's small, badly led, and it has poor morale. So it ain't going to last very long, even with Russian and British assistance. The... Um, so, in terms of Spain, they're uh, really struggling to make any sort of impression on Portugal. Um, most of lay siege to town here. Um, but their supply lines are pretty, pretty vulnerable to the British launching an attack. Uh, and the British have also reinforced. They've actually got Uxbridge. You've got a, a decent leader. Well, I say decent leader, at least some sort of leader with uh, with uh, some troops that are in Lisbon now. So all in all, it's gone pretty well for Napoleon. It's, it, it went pretty much as it did historically. Um, lots of major battles around Venice. Um, it was, unlike Oslis, it was quite, it was in the balance for quite a while. And then, uh, Eventually, the, the French leadership and morale advantages uh, led to them sort of knocking the uh, knocking the Austrian army out of the game. Um, so Napoleon will be uh, thinking of moving north to attack Prussia as soon as it joins the coalition.